five ways that you can make motion graphics in Blender today. So I'm gonna talk about five different ways that you can make motion graphics, different styles, different techniques. So let's get into that. So the first one I'll talk about is pretty simple. It's looping textures. You see this a lot in concert visuals. They're very simple. They're just taking you know regular shapes, Musgrave, Noise, Voronoi, and you're taking them and you're looping them and you're doing something with that. You either put it on a flat surface for like a big LED wall for like concert visuals, or you can put it on an object and you kind of take that further, put it on displacement, put it in a material, all that kind of stuff. But you can take the idea of looping and animating simple textures and applying it to something and you have something really cool as part of your motion graphics kind of tool belt. In the description, I have linked examples from my own tutorials of all five of these techniques. So you can go in the description and I've also made a bunch of playlists from a bunch of techniques, you know, text animations, loops and all that stuff. So I also have a bunch of really cool playlists from my content that you can binge and learn a bunch of stuff from. Now the second one, if you've been following the channel for a long time, you know I love, which is the infinite loops. I call them uh, tube loops, where you kind of create a tube, run a camera through it, and they create an environment around it. They're super versatile, and I have a playlist just for that. You can hit in the link description, check out that playlist, but they're so fun. You basically take a sort of like a five by five area, fill it with content, so models, lights, different things like that. You run your camera through it, and you make this very cool, just infinite loop, and I love them because you can do a million things with them. I have tons and tons of tutorials on it and it's really easy to kind of wrap your brain around. And once you get that, then you can start adding models, adding techniques, adding camera movement. It's kind of infinite, just like the loops are infinite, uh, but they loop and they're awesome. And they're one of my favorite things to make. You see it a lot in like DJ concert visual loops or YouTube backgrounds, things like that. This next one is lighting. You can kind of harness your lighting in a really cool way where you can use your lighting as the animation. Uh, this tutorial right here kind of showed how you make that intro Star Wars loop and you take your light and you rotate it around. Very simple concept, it's fun to do. And I have a playlist dedicated to lighting tutorials. Some of them are not motion graphics related. Some of them are motion graphics related. I showed how you can actually animate your lighting different ways, make it look realistic, make it move a little bit to add some motion into what you're doing. It's really cool to add motion. A lot of times if you're working on a design, it's flat, it's still, what can we, how can we add some motion to this? Oh, how about the lighting? Make some subtle motion, say if it's like a website background or something like that, where you need just some subtle motion, lighting is really fun to use. All right, simulations. Simulations, as we know, as Blender users are very, very annoying to make, but they make for very cool motion graphics. I did one recently where cloth was coming down with these discs rotating and you were able to kind of play with cloth reacting to that. And it was very satisfying and you got to kind of play with that and learn some cloth simulations. So that one again is linked below as the example for simulations. Fluid simulations, uh, rigid body physics, all that stuff is a really cool thing to do with motion graphics. Tons of tutorials out there and you could take the models that are colliding with each other, add textures, add lighting, make a really cool graphic. Um, tons of really cool things for that. Text animations are so fun. For someone who is at heart a graphic designer, I love text animations. I have a playlist all dedicated. I think there's like 22 text animations that are in that playlist and there's even more on the channel. Um, but text animations are really cool, especially for motion graphics. A lot of clients are gonna ask you to animate text or animate a world around text, animate the lighting, animate the whatever. But text animations are really, really fun to learn and you can do anything with them. You can also add them to, you can combine them with the different other motion graphics examples. I do a lot with the infinite loop, add text to the infinite loop, make it go forever, YouTube intro, you know, title card, whatever, but text is a very powerful tool. I do want Blender to kind of expand how much you can manipulate text in Blender, but with what we have now, you have a lot of freedom and geometry nodes even makes it even easier to add some crazy stuff to your text. But text animations are really, really fun and you can hit the link below again and start learning some of those. Now the last one, I saved it for last because some people aren't gonna like this one, but courses. Watching motion graphics courses, if you really, really wanna get into the nitty gritty and put a little bit of money into what you're doing, learn some courses. Now there aren't a lot of motion graphics courses in the Blender community, so I'm gonna suggest two. The first one is from Midge Cianave or Mantisa.xyz. He's one of my biggest inspirations, but he has one of the craziest motion graphics courses that I've ever seen from the Blender community. I very much vouch for it. I watched it before it came out. It's awesome. The second one, shameless promotion, my course, if you are a beginner, this course is great. It's called Intro to Motion Graphics in Blender. It's linked below. Um, 
takes you through the beginning. If you have just a little bit of knowledge, you can kind of walk through this course and learn some really cool things. And um, it doesn't touch geometry notes. I've got a couple questions on that. I may add a lesson or two in geometry notes to it, but if you want to start working on it and kind of get through step, 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 courses are a really good way to kind of get your feet in the water of learning motion graphics very quickly. So there you guys go. I hope this video helped you kind of figure out where you're going to start if you're wanting to kind of start learning motion graphics in Blender. It's a very powerful tool for motion graphics and uh, super fun. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.